guys so let's see what's going on for my collective for the zodiac sign of aquarius this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you don't forget to like this video before you watch it any further i would really appreciate it and thank you for everybody that has been subscribing to my channel leaving positive comments we have the two of cups here so it could be connected to a cancer the world card so i'm seeing here you're in a connection where this person is giving you the world i feel like you're giving them the world as well okay you could be connected to aquarius scorpio taurus leo here some of you guys you could have just got out of relationship you have the nine of pentacles here because this person could have had a problem with um being in a committed relationship so like this person could have liked to like you know talk to other people And we have the full card and the four of pentacles in reverse. I'm also seeing here that somebody had a bad attitude that you was in a commitment with. Okay. And I'm seeing here, it's like you finally see the truth of this person. It could have took up to two years, two months, two weeks. For some of y'all, it could have took up just two days. Like you was just with this person for two days and he was like, up, oh, you seen the red flag and you moved away from this person. It was like, I'll wait for somebody else that's going to stay and not be you know leaving in and out you know so you guys you also realize that you have to change something about yourself as well make like make adjustments in order to even get you know this person that you want to be committed towards you know to treat you right you know bring that in towards you this ten of cups is happy family and marriage I'm sitting here as well. Some of you guys could have been with somebody here where they didn't allow you to be yourself. Like they always complained or tried to make you feel bad or called you weird because you were just being yourself. Yeah, you moved away from this person with the full car, like far away from their ass. Some of you guys could have a bird tattoo. Somebody here could have worked at the pool, like a lifesaver. Okay. Or somebody here is like good at swimming. Y'all could live with this person, but some of y'all and y'all is moving away from this person, like getting your own place to stay. But you're taking a leap of faith. You don't know what it holds in the unknown, but you're going towards it. Yeah, you released this person with the four of pentacles in reverse. And I'm sitting here, it's like the queen of pentacles here. It's like you um, have just been having, you know, time to just focus on your career, your money, okay? And I'm seeing here you're grounded, okay. Now the pentacles, yeah, you're 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 single, you're independent, okay. You're luxurious, and I feel like you you like not having to answer to anybody. We have the three of wands here. Some of you guys could be waiting on your shifts to come in. You could have like invested something. We have here the seven of wands. The two of wands and the ace of swords. So somebody here is upset, okay, because you just left them. Like I feel like you you, you didn't even explain yourself to this person. You just left their ass. With the three of wands and the seven of wands, it's like you guys can have distance between this person, or this person is hoping that you reach out to them because they don't know where you went. Same so, I mean, guys could have been dealing with somebody that was younger than you. Like it was an age difference here. This person could have been defensive as well. We have the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, this person is like confused as hell. I'm seeing here, it's like you didn't explain nothing to this person. It's like you got some type of mental clarity here with the Ace of Swords. And it's like you, you move towards another person. For some of you guys, could move towards another person where the sex was better. I don't know if this person's sex wasn't good. <laughs> or they just started lacking. They wasn't like, you know, doing what they needed to do to pleasure you. But you was always doing things to pleasure this person. Or I'm seeing here, some of you guys, you're just going towards um, a project here. And I feel like it takes up all your time. And it's like, that's what you've really been focused on. It's like you're tired of, like, focusing on people that, you know, give you half ass or nothing at all. You know, it's like you, you feel like you can use that energy to, you know, make more money or do things that you're passionate about or, you know, do things that you never did before. 
some of you guys to be um either going back to school we have the hermit here or you could be planning a trip you know just to get some fresh air Try to find the seven of wands. Yeah, the hermit. It's like you've been spending a lot of time alone doing self reflection. Self reflection. <laughs> um, you also been taking care of yourself. We have the seven, the death card to clarify the seven of wands. Yeah, some of you guys could have been the fist of yourself, and it's like you stopped doing that. And I feel like you was trying to figure out what did the anger come from. Like even when somebody either said something, it's like you always became defensive, or you didn't want to be bothered. And I feel like that was because you was around this person. You know, I feel like you had a sweet, genuine heart. But it's like this person could have made you like super like aggressive. And yeah, it's like this person thinks like if they come in with some type of aggression that you, you know, that's going to bring them back to you. But it's like you're just going to reject their ass because I feel like you're a different person now. Like you don't have time to be fighting back and forth with this person. You know, like you're going to laugh at their ass. Yeah, you've been finding answers within. You've been listening to inner guidance here on what you should do, you know, moving forward. We have the chariot here, yeah. And I feel like you are moving forward, okay? You're taking action with the chariot. We have the page of wands in reverse. We have the seven of pentacles here. We have the Eight of Wands, I mean, Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Six of Swords. So I feel like somebody here went in towards some type of investment that they didn't like research or study or get all the information that they need to get. And I feel like somebody investments is going really bad. This could be you, Chris. Now I feel like we have to like do multiple things now to bring in money, or this could have been in the past. Yeah, and I feel like also you could have probably had investments with this person that you left, but it's like, that's what kept you stuck for a minute because y'all had investments with each other. Or this person was your ride to work, or the case may be. This person could have helped you in some type of way and you could have helped them in some type of way regarding money. But I'm seeing here, it's like, you're just leaving. You're like, you're not letting that stop you. Yeah, King of Pentacles is about the deck. This person, y'all was helping each other get money. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, you know? Yeah, it's like, you're not allowing that to stop you from moving forward. Six of Swords. It's like you're releasing this person. You're like, I'd rather not deal with it. Like, you can, you can keep doing what you need to do by yourself, but I'm out. And that, that person probably thought that the fact that y'all got money together, that wasn't going to make you leave. Like, that was going to always have you stand with them, but they thought wrong. Okay, I have the page of Wands in reverse. Two of Swords. Somebody here could be gossiping about you as well. Ten of Wands, because they're upset because they, they're confused at where the hell you went. And they feel like they got all this responsibility by themselves, and you probably was helping this person. Mm-hmm. Who gives a fuck once again? <laughs> so let's see what's the messages that this person wants to tell for craze. Spirit guys who wants to do this. Remove the negative energies from this deck, spare guys of the night. Ancestors of the masters. My angels of the paralite. What 
I don't want to hurt you. <sighs> so somebody here don't want to hurt you. This could be a new energy coming through. They don't want to hurt you. If like you've been through enough, you probably could have like vented to this person and told them like your past. Or somebody here from your past wants to come in towards you, but you feel like they're going to try to hurt you again or some type of way. Or this person could have been threatening you. Now they're saying they're not going to hurt you. You know, just to trick you so you could, they could come back and feel life. So let's see. We have spying, creeping, stalking, lurking, investigating, watching you. We have I'm hiding a lot right now. This person is crazy. I refuse to let you go. Like, they meant nothing to me. I wish I could take back the things I said. Do you still think about me too? Hell no. You should be with me instead. Watching you move on kills me. Yeah, this is the most definitely a past energy coming through heavy. I'm unhappy in my current relationship. Please forgive me. Let's go on a date. I imagine growing old with you. Our connection is so much deeper than just sex. I have someone else, but they don't want to be with that person. They're not happy. I think about you as soon as I wake up and before I go to sleep. I'm coming back. Let me show you that I'm different. I respect you for setting strong boundaries. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Please reach out. We have yes. Single, happy, and peaceful. New lover. I want to hold you again. So, for some of you guys, you either think like if you reach out to this person, is they gonna reach back out to you and spirit saying yes. We have self-love. So yeah, just be focusing on your self-love right now. Please don't give your love to anyone else. In love with two people, I don't love them anymore. Like this person is so confused. Like, like do you love them or you don't? I'm so proud of you. You inspire me to be better. Please be patient with me and better off alone. So I feel like you feel like you're better off alone. Like you don't want to be bothered with this person or anybody right now. Like you're just enjoying your, your you time, you know? But this person is like, I feel your frustration because like this person keeps trying to like speak to you and you don't want nothing to do with them. Like, you wish they'd just leave you the hell alone and go about their life and, you know, irritate whoever that they chose over you, you know? Or they probably didn't even choose nobody over you. You just probably just left their ass. <laughs> they was irritating and they need to get their shit together. Okay. Let's see. Give me some advice for Aquarius, for whoever is resonating with this reading. Spirit guides, I'm going to light. Give me some advice for Aquarius. Spirit guides, I'm going to light. We have you ready. And we have here improving health. Okay, so let's see. It says, All your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. The world is anxiously awaiting the contributions that following your life purpose will provide. You may have to put aside other people's problems and put yourself first in this situation it's time to do what's right for you period and we have improving health it says the angels want you to know that the health of the person you asked about is going to improve you can request the assistance of archangel Raphael and your guardian angels to speed along the recovery this card may also be urging you to make more healthful choices in your life if you're feeling called to detox from harmful foods or substances, you should follow that guidance. Removing unhealthy practices from your life will make you feel vibrant and strong. Okay, so I hope you guys got a lot of clarity from this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!